Madsen hits double hundred as Gloucestershire and Derbyshire share the spoils. Lace and Madsen moved Derbyshire into the lead late on day three as a seesaw battle with Gloucestershire remained finely poised entering the final day's play. Lace was able to move to his 50 during a sedate start to day four before Howell made a breakthrough when he had him caught by Dent. Boundaries were proving hard to come by but Madsen was able to bring up his own 50 soon afterwards. Hughes looked to break the shackles with a six and a four back to back off Hankins and the run started to flow a little more freely towards the end of the session. Lunch arriving, Derbyshire 186 for three, a lead of 127 after an excellent session in which they'd lost just a single wicket. Madsen moved Derbyshire beyond the 200 not long into the post-lunch session with three fours off a Hammond over. All that before Madsen was able to bring up his 100. Madsen and Hughes kept the score ticking over during the afternoon session with periodic boundaries and batting appeared to be easier than it had been all game as the match meandered towards a draw. Derbyshire reached 325 for three, a lead of 266 with Madsen on 160 and Hughes 91 as they put on 215 for the fourth wicket. The Derbyshire batsmen began to cut loose after the tea break Hughes bringing up a century with a four off Hammond before Madsen brought up the season's first double ton a couple of overs later. That was just about that as Derbyshire declared soon afterwards on 388 for three. The captains shook hands to bring the game to an end. A bit of an anticlimactic final day in what had been a fascinating back and forth game for the first three days. Six points for Gloucestershire. Derbyshire take four.